yo. Vakata. of the family. Yes. How long have you been there? Since birth. Since birth. Yes. What is your name, you idol? <laughs> what is your name? Jesus wants to know. What is your name? Don't ask me. Huh? Don't ask me. Speak out in the name of Jesus. I don't have to speak. <laughs> Spirit of what? Tiger. Spirit of a tiger. Yes. What did you destroy in his life? <sighs> what did you destroy? He's a star. What did you destroy? <sighs> Number one. What did you destroy? This <sighs> guy. <sighs> what did you destroy? He's a minister of the gospel. He's a minister of the gospel. I chained him from birth. You chained him from birth? Yes. Number two? I took their documents. You he took their documents? He ID. What documents? Identity documents. ID documents. The parents are from Mozambique. Yes. I made them to become lost to come into this country. Because I knew he's going to be a great prophet of God. What else did you do? I scattered the whole family. Shoo! Tiger, your time is over. Your time is over. By the blood of Jesus, your time is over. Your time has expired. Leave the body. The mighty name of Jesus. Move, move, move. move. Father, thank you. Great deliverer, Jesus. Kashataka. Bring him. Brother, Jesus love you. <coughs> you are free. <laughs> Come, brother. Abuti. You have these two voices that are bothering you. <laughs> Every time when one says do this, the other one <laughs> is refusing. That's very true. Huh? That's very true. So don't worry. It's silenced. It's silenced. be greeted in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus. Welcome to I Am Ministries. May you kindly tell us your name and where you're from. Uh, my name is Paul Courage and I'm from Bread. During the service today, the man of God gave you a prophecy and may you tell us what was the prophecy. Okay, the prophet said to me, there are two voices which speaks to me, uh, which causes uh, confusion. And do you confirm this prophecy to be true? Yes, the, conf uh, the prophecy is very true uh, because I'm a minister of the gospel. My father's land is Mozambique and uh, I've been running the ministry in South Africa. So the two voices I uh, spoke about, there's this voice which says I should go to my father's land and the other one says I should remain here in South Africa. So I truly confirm uh, the prophecy is to be true. And according to these voices that you say you hear, what reason do they give you to say go to Mozambique and why does the other one say stay in South Africa? Uh, the thing is that uh, I've been suffering to get the uh, South African documents here. And now through the deliverance which I got here 
and church have understood that this thing were all blocked by a family idol. So this thing has been causing things not to go well in my life. Now this is how uh, these voices came about, which I often get confused. But I believe that by the grace of God, I will pray and now I'll get the final answer. We thank God for locating you today. And after your experience in IM Ministries, what advice would you give to those who are going through the very same situation as yours? Uh, what I would say is that uh, IM Ministries is a true church. Prophet Aaron is a true prophet of God. If you have been going around and uh, never finding solution, this is a right house to come. God will locate you. We thank God for locating you. And may you go kindly live for Christ. Thank you very much. Thank you.